It's October 1994 and the NES is slowly dying out. But what games were people still buying for this aging system? Join me and find out. It's another month, so here I am to bring you yet another episode of the Retro Gaming Chart Show, your monthly look at gaming history in the form of charts gone by. Now I don't know about you, but I find it quite interesting to see what games were popular in the past, and that's exactly what you're going to find out right here. This month we're going to look at the NES Top 5 from October 1994, courtesy of the 155th issue of Computer and Video Games, otherwise known as CVG. In its day, CVG was one of the longest running multi-format magazines around before its untimely demise in 2004, when it remained open as a website until 2015. At the time of this chart, the NES was about to wind down and the PlayStation was only a year away from a Western release, but it's surprising to see which games were selling the most. So let's take a look. At number 5 is Days of Thunder, a driving sim loosely based on the Tom Cruise film the same name. Unfortunately for you, my only exposure to NASCAR is the Will Ferrell film Talladega Nights, so I just have nothing to say about this one. The classic top-down racer Micro Machines comes in at number 4. Not bad for a game released all the way back in 1991. Probably one of the most enjoyable multiplayer driving games outside of Mario Kart, there is something so fun about racing around the breakfast table in a tiny sports car. In at number 3 is Yoshi's Cookie, the puzzle game spin-off starring everyone's favourite dinosaur, Yoshi. I have no idea why he's involved in this game, but it's an okay puzzler in any case. One of the console's last great games was Kirby's Adventure at number 2 in this chart. I think that this was really the game that put Kirby on the map, with its serene platforming gameplay earning a whole heap of fans young and old. While you normally associate Tetris with the Game Boy, you'd be surprised to learn that the NES versions of the game were pretty popular too, as indicated by Tetris 2 reaching the very top of the charts. The new mechanics are more like Dr. Mario than Tetris, but it didn't stop a whole lot of people buying this game. And that is the end of another Retro Gaming Chart Show. If you got this far, thank you very much for watching and do not forget to subscribe to be notified about my weekly videos. Also, why not let me know what you think of the games in this top 5? I would love to hear about your experiences with these games yourself. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I hope to see you soon with another video.